Thinking about Russ County, Henderson, okay. Russ, Russ. Everybody. Does. <laughs> yeah, East Texas. Yeah, it took a while for the train for the uh, brain to operate <laughs> there. Yeah, I got some. <laughs> Get the train too. going. <laughs> All right, let's uh, go ahead and take a look at our severe weather outlook. And again, the good news of the day is none of East Texas is under this enhanced risk of severe weather that has shifted off to the west. It's going to be more so in central Texas. That being said, we can often get pretty intense storms and a slight risk, which is highlighted for Tyler Longview, Jacksonville and Henderson pointing off to the west right now. No watches, no warnings in effect. But as I've mentioned, Henderson County near the community of Athens already starting to see some showers. We do have a severe thunderstorm watch posted from Hunt, Kaufman County pointing off to the west and a tornado watch there in central Texas where they do have a little more spin in the atmosphere. First things first, here's a line of storms that has now moved off to the southeast of Temple. Those are severe. Further up to the north, we're tracking a storm near west. It did look like it was showing some signs of rotation. It's broadened out just a little bit, but this is moving across Interstate 35 and might move into Navarro County within the next hour or so. So we'll have to keep an eye on that because after Navarro, it would be Henderson and Anderson County. A lot of disorganized thunderstorm activity over portions of northern Kaufman and Rockwall and Dallas County. That's moving off to the northeast right now. Temperature wise, we are in the 70s and lower 80s, so still plenty of instability to work with. Not as much as what the SBC was expecting. So a little bit of good news there and the moisture is the greatest out to the west, we still have some dew points in the 50s to our north. So here's future cast. Once again, between 6 and 7 o'clock, we're going to start to see those storms ramp up in our far western counties. They'll start to move off to the northeast, and by 8 or 9 o'clock, they're affecting places like Tyler, Gilmer, up to Mount Pleasant, and then heading into 11. Still seeing those showers and storms in our northeastern counties, but Look what's happening in deep east Texas. Hardly anything at all, so we may very well dodge a bullet there, but still be on storm alert. Let's go ahead and walk you through tomorrow morning. Still seeing showers by midnight, but the severe weather threat will be over by then. By 7, 8, 9 o'clock in the morning, we do start to see some wraparound precipitation to our north, and that could move in, bringing us a steady rain at times through tomorrow afternoon. But all this activity does begin to move out of our area late in the day. Saturday. Meteorologist John Adams joins me now. And John, when will we see these storms across our area? Well, this is the timeline, uh, Carson, that we expect to see uh, anywhere from 6 to 10 o'clock in the yellow area that you see here. And that would include our western counties all the way eastward through Jacksonville, Tyler, into the Longview vicinity. So anytime there is when we're expecting to see uh, that possibility of some severe storms move into the area. After that, from 8 to about midnight, we'll start to see our eastern counties affected, so we'll be watching for that possibility. And again, this is the severe threat that we're talking about here. After midnight, everything should be moving just about to out of the area, and at least our severe threat will be going away, although we do expect to continue to see some rain into Saturday. This is if we severe uh, see severe weather. This is what is most likely to occur. Large hail and damaging thunderstorm winds are what will be most probable. That large hail golf ball size are larger. Damage Damaging wind gusts, and we have seen some winds in excess of 70 miles per hour from some of these storms so far. So we could see winds in excess of 60 to 70 miles per hour from the strongest storms as they move into East Texas. A lesser threat of tornadoes or flash flooding, but those are a possibility as well. Carson. Thank you, John. And as we look at tomorrow, you mentioned that we do have some rain chances for tomorrow as well. We don't expect any severe weather or anything like that, but there could be a steady rain at times. That rain will keep our temps in the 60s tomorrow afternoon, but we do warm up for your Sunday. For everybody that likes that warmer weather, we will hit 77 degrees. Next seven days, once we move beyond the weekend, we'll see plenty of sunshine Monday. We'll start to see those clouds return Tuesday into Wednesday. And then storm chances will return to the fold as we head into next Thursday and Friday with highs in the 80s. As we look at deep east Texas, including Lufkin, Nacogdoches, Crockett, still a chance at some showers for your Saturday. 67 will be your high temperature, 79 Sunday, and then we're in the low to middle 80s Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday with our next chance of storms arriving by the late part of the week. Neil? Just when you think the broadcast gets